Imagine this. You're driving down your familiar street, a street you've seen countless times. But today, something feels different. More houses have those bright, beckoning, for sale signs planted in their yards. It's a trend you've noticed creeping up over the past few months. But here's the question. Is this a sign of a booming housing market, a vibrant neighborhood on the rise, or something more? Could these for sale signs be whispering secrets about the entire economy? Buckle up, because today we're cracking the code on how the housing market can predict recessions. Let's unpack this whole recession thing for a second. Imagine the economy as a complex machine with countless moving parts. A recession signifies a period when this machine starts to sputter and slow down. One of the most noticeable warning signs is a rise in unemployment. When people lose their jobs, their spending power shrinks and businesses take a hit. It's a domino effect that weakens the entire economic system. But here's the fascinating twist. The housing market can often act like a canary in a coal mine for recessions. In the days before miners ventured deep underground, they'd bring canaries with them. These sensitive birds would succumb to dangerous gases well before humans felt any effects, acting as an early warning system. Similarly, the housing market can start showing signs of trouble before the broader job market takes a tumble. Understanding how the housing market can predict recessions involves a key player, interest rates. Imagine interest rates as the price tag you pay to borrow money. They're set by the central bank, which acts like the economy's grand conductor, trying to keep everything in harmony. Now, here's where things get interesting. Housing is incredibly sensitive to these interest rates. Think of it like a house plant. It thrives under the right conditions, low interest rates, but wilts under harsh ones, high interest rates. When the central bank decides to raise interest rates, it's essentially making borrowing money more expensive. This directly impacts mortgages, the loans people take out to buy homes. Suddenly, that dream house you could comfortably afford with a low mortgage rate becomes a financial stretch with a higher rate. The monthly payments become tougher to swallow, and the overall cost of buying a house increases. This rise in mortgage rates has a domino effect. With fewer people able to afford to buy homes due to the increased cost, demand for housing starts to drop. Picture it like a playground. When everyone wants to play on the swings, high demand for houses, there's a waiting list. But if the swings suddenly become less appealing, due to higher mortgage rates, the playground becomes less crowded. This decrease in demand weakens the housing market. Sellers who were hoping for a quick sale might have to wait longer to find a buyer, and they may even have to consider lowering their asking price. This can lead to a situation where house prices themselves start to stagnate or even decline. It's important to remember that the housing market is a complex ecosystem. There are other factors besides interest rates that can influence it, like job growth, consumer confidence, and the overall availability of houses on the market. However, rising interest rates are often a tipping point, and the slowdown in the housing market can serve as a crucial early warning sign of a potential recession. Let's take a closer look at what's happening in the housing market right now. Economists and analysts are keeping a watchful eye on several key trends that might be hinting at a potential economic slowdown. Here's a breakdown of the warning signs. Stagnant prices. Imagine a stagnant pond. The water isn't flowing freely and things seem a bit sluggish. That's a good metaphor for what's happening with housing prices in some areas. The rapid price increases we saw in recent years seem to be losing momentum. While there might still be some modest growth, the overall trend suggests a slowdown. Fewer homes being sold. Remember that playground analogy from before? Well, if the swings aren't as popular anymore due to rising mortgage rates, there won't be as many kids lining up to use them, fewer homes being sold. The housing market is experiencing a similar phenomenon. The brisk pace of sales we saw earlier might be cooling down, with homes staying on the market for longer periods. Construction slowdown. Think of new construction as adding more swings to the playground. A slowdown in construction indicates that builders are perhaps being more cautious about adding to the housing supply. This could be due to a number of factors, such as concerns about future demand or the rising cost of materials. These trends, when viewed together, paint a picture of a housing market that's losing some steam. Now, it's important to remember that the housing market isn't a crystal ball. It's just one piece of the economic puzzle. However, the current slowdown, particularly when combined with our handy-dandy chart, suggesting a potential recession on the horizon by the end of 2024, 
certainly warrants keeping a close eye on things. The road ahead, a word of caution. While the housing market's signals are worth considering, it's crucial not to panic. Recessions are a natural part of the economic cycle, and they don't always have to be catastrophic. The severity and duration of a potential recession depend on various factors, and there's always a chance that the slowdown in the housing market could be temporary. The coming months will be crucial in understanding the full picture. Economists will be closely monitoring economic data, including employment figures, consumer spending, and inflation rates. These additional pieces of information will help to paint a clearer picture of the overall economic health and the likelihood of a recession. Now, before we hit the panic button and start prepping our bomb shelters, there's a plot twist to consider. The current situation presents a bit of a conundrum for economists. While the housing market is flashing some warning signs, other key economic indicators are telling a different story. Low unemployment rate. Think of unemployment as a leaky faucet. The lower the rate, the less water, economic output, is wasted. Currently, the unemployment rate is still hovering at a relatively low level. This suggests that people are still employed and contributing to the economy, which is a positive sign. Government Spending Spree Imagine the government as a sugar daddy for the economy, injecting cash when things get slow. Recently, there's been a significant increase in government spending on various programs and initiatives. This additional stimulus can act as a temporary boost to the economy, potentially offsetting some of the negative signals coming from the housing market. So, what does this all mean? Essentially, we're in a bit of a holding pattern. The housing market slowdown suggests a potential economic wobble, but the low unemployment rate and government spending act as counterweights, potentially delaying the onset of a recession. It's like we're waiting to see which way the wind will blow. Will the housing market weakness gain momentum, or will the other factors prevail? What does this mean for you? This doesn't necessarily mean you need to start stockpiling canned goods and prepping for the apocalypse. However, being aware of these trends can empower you to make informed decisions, particularly regarding significant financial moves like buying a house. Here are some takeaways. Stay informed. Keep an eye on the housing market and track those interest rates. By staying up to date on economic news and trends, you'll be better equipped to make informed choices. Make wise decisions. If you're considering buying a house, factor in the current economic climate. While a recession isn't guaranteed, it's wise to be cautious and ensure your finances are in good shape before making such a major commitment. Don't panic. Remember, recessions are a natural part of the economic cycle. While they can be disruptive, they don't always have to be devastating. By staying informed and making sound financial decisions, you can navigate any economic storm with greater confidence. All right, that's a wrap for today's exploration of the housing market and its potential role as a recessionary canary in the coal mine. We hope this video has shed some light on the current economic climate and the factors at play. Remember, knowledge is power. By staying informed about economic trends and developments, you'll be better equipped to make sound financial decisions, navigate potential uncertainties, and chart a course for your own economic well-being. We'll be back soon with another episode, diving deeper into the world of finances and empowering you to become a more confident economic navigator. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you on the next adventure.